Hello guys, my name is Elizabeth and this is the 7 Deadly Sins book tag. So I was tagged by the lovely Sylvia over at Wish Fulfillment, so please go and check her out. I will link her down below along with the creator of the tag who I cannot remember who that is right now. So let's get started. The first question is greed. What is your most expensive book and what is your least expensive book? I know for a fact that I spent the least amount of money on my copy of Animal Farm by George Orwell. I got this for 25 cents at my, um, what's it called? Uh, Goodwill in my town and it was super duper cheap. My most expensive book is actually a little bit harder because every single book that you see here has been bought from a secondhand store, has been bought at Goodwill, has been bought at Amazon for like little to no money. The only book that I spent full price on was The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. I have no idea why I spent full price on this book because I don't even have the rest of the series. This is the fourth book in the series and at the time I hadn't even read any of the person Jackson novels. I don't know why, but this book was $19.99, and yes, it is the only book that I own that I have spent full price on. Every single other book that I own, I have gotten from a library sale, I've gotten from Goodwill, I've gotten for, you know, at my secondhand store, all of those places. I never ever pay full price for a book, and I'm pretty sure that this is the only one that I've ever paid full price for. Question number two is Wrath. What author do you have a love hate relationship with? And that question is actually really hard because it's like, I don't know, if I really like an author's work, I don't really see why I would hate them at all. The closest thing that I can come up with is um, Holly Black, and the reason is is because the first thing that I ever read from her was The Iron Child that she wrote with Cassandra Clare, and that was actually really freaking good. I loved it. And then I read um, her short story that was in My True Love Gave to Me, and then I read, which sucked, I hated it so much, and then I read Tithe, and I didn't like that at all either but I loved The Iron Trial, so I'm just very torn on Holly Black right now. I don't know. So that's the closest thing I can say for a love-hate relationship, because I love one of her books, but I've hated everything else I've read by her, so I'm just confused on whether I like her or not. I want to. I want to like her so much, but everything that I've read other than The Iron Trial, which was written with Cassandra Clare has stunk, so we'll see. I'm gonna try to read The Darkest Part of the Forest and see if I enjoy that, and if I don't, then I've given up. Other than the Magisterium series that she's writing with Cassandra Clare, I will not read anything else by Holly Black if I do not enjoy The Darkest Part of the Forest. I've read three of her other works, and if I don't like that one, then I'm done. It's gonna be over, and it will no longer be a love-hate relationship, it will be a hate relationship. <laughs> and I feel bad because I want to like her so much, but We'll see. I'm gonna give her one more try. One more. Question number three is, Gluttony, what book have you enjoyed over and over with no shame whatsoever? And that has to be the Pendragon series by DJ McHale. This, I have read this book more times than I have read any other book in my entire life. I have probably read this a dozen times, and I've read each consecutive book in the series anywhere between... 12 and 3 times, so I mean it just, I, I love it. I love it so much. I, I, I can read this book over and over. I can read this book every single day for the rest of my life and still be satisfied. It is so good. Next question is Sloth. Which book have you neglected due to laziness? And that absolutely has to be um, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. I, like, this is how lazy I am. It's right there on my bookshelf. I can see it and I just don't even want to get it. That's how lazy I am about this book. I just it's not a priority right now, but maybe sometime this year it will be. But literally, I have almost I have been reading this book for almost a month. I think I'm a little less than halfway through and uh, just because of sheer laziness, I have not read it. Pride, which book do you talk about in order to sound like an intellectual reader? And I don't. I guess, I don't know. I'm just not pretentious at all. I don't know. That's just not me. A lot of people that I come into contact with, my family and my friends, they think that I'm intellectual because I read, period. It doesn't they don't know. I mean, they just see me with a different book every single time they see me, so they know that I read a lot. I mean, I've read 20 books so far this month. 
and it's only the 26th, so it's a little, you know, so I don't know, I just, I, I don't try to sound more intellectual than I actually am, it's just not something that I do. I know that there there was a question in another tag that I did that said, what book did you buy for the intellectualness of it all? And I do have an answer for that one. That was The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. My um, AP English teacher was reading this in high school when I was taking her class, and she was just talking about how sophisticated it was and how higher level reading it was and stuff. So I was like, I'm going to go out and, and buy it and read it because I'm intellectual like that. But I never did. And I don't, I don't have any, any, uh, need to read this book whatsoever. But other than that, the one time when I was in high school, I have never read or bought a book just because it makes me look smarter. The next question is, Lust, what attributes do you find attractive in male and female characters? And the number one thing that I love about characters is when they can make me laugh. I love funny characters so much. All of my favorite characters are funny. Uh, Bobby from the Pendragon series and Tella from the uh, Fire and Flood series. I love them. They're both hilarious for girls. I mean, guys, I... I don't know. Guys, when they're funny in a book, they make me feel like they're the class clown type. They're not really serious about anything. And I don't really find that attractive. So I really like it when girls are funny. I also really like it when girls know how to take charge and they can take care of themselves and they don't need a man. And on the other side of the coin, male characters I find attractive are, are male characters who know how to take care of their women, who would do anything and would die for their love interest or their family members and would just do anything for them and I love that I think that's so noble and it just makes me swoon every single time a guy is like that uh it's actually a really hard question I guess it just depends on the type of book that you're reading um the attributes that I like in a girl I don't like a girl to be easily persuaded by male characters that's an attribute I don't like um that's a very hard and intri I feel like I can make a whole video just on that one question so I'm just gonna move on the last question is Envy what book would you most want as a gift and that would definitely have to be Heart of Betrayal which is the second book in the Remnant Chronicle series the first one is Kiss of Deception um, by Mary E. Pearson that comes out on July 7th and it is probably gonna be the first book that I order like pre-order ever I've never pre-ordered a book like I said earlier I get all of my books from secondhand shops and stuff like that but I have been dying for this book I read Kiss of Deception right when it came out um in July of last year and so I've been waiting seven months so far for this book to come out and I cannot wait I want it so badly thank you guys so much for coming to the seven deadly sins book tag I enjoyed it so much these are some great questions um like I said everyone will be linked down below and now I'm gonna tag some people I am going to tag Jen from Today in Jen's Library. I'm going to tag Grace from Grace with a Book in Her Face. And Kevin from The Irish Reader. If you guys enjoyed this, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.